What's up guys, my name is Max and today on MaxWorks we're going to be showing you how to build a collapsible portable fire pit. Now in my case, I'm building this fire pit for the base box. Uh, for my house, I built a much larger fully welded fire pit uh, using a lot of the same techniques and I'll link to that video uh, down below. But today we're just going to build a small collapsible fire pit. What that means is it's going to be a bunch of plates. We're going to cut out of this 12 gauge uh, piece of scrap I have. And when it slides together, it's going to make a fire pit and I'm going to store it in the box truck so that when we go camping and stuff, we have a fire pit uh, to use. Now I grabbed this out of my wood pile. This is just going to serve as a reference. This is literally a piece of oak wood I got from a uh, like firewood place that I uh, split down a little bit. But this is exemplary of like some of the bigger pieces you'll just find out in nature that you break down and throw in a fire pit. So. This one's going to be a little small, but this is just another one of those projects where you don't have to put a ton of time or thought into it. You can just kind of get to it. I'm probably going to use a combination of a plasma cutter um, and a uh, half angle grinder, but this is a project you can do entirely, you know, in your driveway with a half angle grinder and nothing else. There shouldn't be any welding or anything involved. Um, and we're going to do a few things that are just kind of cool, but uh, aren't necessarily necessary for it to work as a fire pit. So with all that said, um, I'm going to basically show you guys how I'm going to do some measurements and uh, we're going to get right to it. So basically I drew up a plan. We're going to do two 12 by 16 inch pieces. Those are going to be the sides. Uh, and then we're going to do two 12 by 24 inch pieces and those are going to be kind of the, uh, the V. And basically what you're going to end up with is a fire pit that looks like this with two flat sides and it all basically just slips together. So I'm gonna get the plasma cutter out and cut out these pieces um, and then we'll figure out what angle we want um, and cut in our V's. Right, next part you gotta do once you have all your four pieces cut out is we gotta take down all the mill scale and rust and this is just an unfortunate fact of life you leave your stuff outside like I do um, and so I'm gonna use this wire brush on all four pieces um, you can do this at any point in the process but uh, I think it's usually easiest right now once you have the pieces cut out but you haven't really started working with them yet so nothing to do but to get to it Now, I know this is a little busy, I'm just playing with different ideas. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to go in, if this is the top, we're going to go down three inches, and that's going to be where our plates slide in, and we're going to go four and a half inches in. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a slit that's like something like that on each side. That way we can do a four and a half inch uh, slice onto the uh, lengthwise pieces, which will bring the middle so these will touch. So not a lot of ash and stuff will drop through there uh, in case we're trying to keep all the embers and stuff in place. So I'm going to cut out this slit. I'm going to cut out this slit. I'm going to make uh, a matching copy of this on the other piece. <coughs> and then we'll test fit it against the uncut um, long pieces. And then we'll cut those down uh, based on where we want to put the pieces and uh, that'll be it for the structural part of it. So there we go with our first set of slits cut. Um, you can see the problem is there's like a six inch gap in here. Um, so any <laughs> logs we put in there would just fall through. But what that leaves is about a, a four and a half inches worth of in that we have to cut here. And so what I think I'm gonna do is just to get the kind of maximum space, we're gonna space this um, one inch in from each side and then basically cut a four and a half inch slit. So when this all slides together, it should form a nice deep V. Um, and then kind of the construction part of this will be done. And it'll always sit together a little loosely. It's not meant to be a perfectly snug fit. It doesn't need to be. Uh, and so we're gonna get that cut out and put back in uh, right now. Well, there we go. Our final design is put together. Um, 
basically at this point you can put wood in it you can light it on fire it's good to go it's real fairly sturdy considering it's just put together uh, with pieces of metal and it can you know be broken apart and stacked flat um, what we're going to do now is we're going to do as much weight savings as we can as well as increase a little bit of airflow to our fire and we're going to do that by drilling a bunch of holes and then dimple dyeing this and when we dimple dye this is going to give it a lot more structural rigidity as well as reducing weight so i'm going to use one inch dimple dies we're going to basically do as many as we can fit um, to basically take as much material out and it really will significantly stiffen the design so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay these out and basically just figure out where i'm going to drill all the holes so here we go this is our finished product <clears throat> and as you can see slips all the way shut together um, there's no big embers going to fall through the bottom. I went ahead and drilled out as many holes as I could. I don't really care if the embers fall out or not. But um, if you're going to be camping in a place uh, where it's uh, more important, you can leave the bottom set of holes uh, you know, filled in. And that way you don't have to worry about embers dropping to the ground. But most places we're going to light a fire that's going to allow an open fire. This is going to be just fine. So <clears throat> that's pretty much it. The only thing left is to uh, go outside and light a fire in it and see how she does. Well, there she is. Got some fire starter sticks in there going. And I think this uh, this fire pit will work really well for quite a while for us. Uh, it's got a lot of, a lot of air flow in there, so it's going to generate a lot of heat. Uh, and it's going to burn wood pretty quick. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, hit subscribe. Um, there's going to be some more stuff coming out here in the new year. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to let this stuff burn out tonight. It's a nice cold night out here. And uh, when it's done, we'll fold it up and store it in the box truck for future adventures. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.